As you know, this is the interview within the evaluation process within the call of uh, through which we have we will select our students to go to Texas Heart Institute in Houston. You will be kind of asked to introduce yourself and then we will discuss about your professional and research interest and about your stay in Houston more precisely. My name is Irena Ostrich. I'm a fifth year of medical school here in Belgrade and I'm from Belgrade. We would like to, to see people that think in advance. Um, can you just uh, picture yourself and translate that to us in 20 years or so from now? I think that the importance of education is to start it as early as possible because it changes your attitude towards life later on and um, hopefully I would like to see myself as a pediatric cardiologist perhaps involved with congenital heart disease and valvular uh, defects because I think that is an ongoing process and uh, just to follow up with all the recent trends it is um, is important to continue that and uh, maybe just improve their quality of life later on so that is something that I would like to see myself as but again I know that it is hard to get there and I'm not um, re restricting myself to just one area I'm trying to find out more about other things and I would like to be involved with an educational process as well because I think that it is as important to give to others as well uh, as receiving the knowledge from your professors and your qualified teachers so far. I see this as an opportunity to expand my knowledge in my areas, in these areas of my interest, cardiac surgery and cardiology. And also, I think that it is very important, not only for students, but also for physicians, to travel and to establish communication and to expand uh, their views in up to most up-to-date interventions and uh, procedures. Uh, also, uh, I have my uh, personal aspiration and wish to travel to the United States and to get to know uh, American people and their culture. Can you explain us why should we or what is the reason why should we choose you? Okay, I'll try to summarize this. Uh, I think that uh, one should always uh, try to put some additional effort and I think that from my great interest in these areas comes uh, great motivation and uh, commitment and also energy to achieve any goals and overcome any difficulties that I might come up to in this process. Besides medicine, what occupies you? What is your everyday leisure or something like that? For example, I don't have a lot of time, but I like to, be, to entertain myself uh, with some artists like uh, drawing. I like to draw uh, portraits and also I like to make some posters, sculptures. But I need time for that and I almost do that uh, during the summer. Do you have any artistic education? No, no, like it's academy, just... It's no, it's your like talent, a, you develop your talent. Yeah, but do you have any stuff. exhibitions so far? No, but maybe once. Mm -hmm, <laughs> because, mm -hmm. for example, on my uh, exchange in Slovakia, I met a professor who had a lot of exhibitions, but uh, when he was... He likes to paint, and, but he said during my studies I didn't have time, but later I find time for that and for my exhibitions, so maybe mm -hmm. once. Do you have any drawings from a uh, medical area? Body? Or Just body? hands and uh, face portraits. I like to draw hands also. Do you understand the uh, uh, conditions of your staying over there, board and lodging and so on? Do you know what is offered? Uh, yes, I know that it's uh, uh, the basic things that were um, given in the, um, the text um, the two months uh, in Texas Heart Institute. I believe it's a um, job from early in the morning to um, working in the afternoon, in the late hours. Um, also, I'm I think that I'm, I will be prepared for that, to put away my spare time and uh, um, work that, there. That, that is nice, but nevertheless you're going to return to your apartment. So my question is, do you know to cook? Uh, yes, I know to cook. Yeah, really? Where did you learn that? Well, I live only with my mother. I don't have a father or grandfather. So you prepare meals? Well, when I have to. I can cook for myself. 
Perfect. You're a good roommate. <laughs> <laughs>